All right. How do you usually prepare for the concert? Do you have some rituals? Hmm. Usually before a show, I like to listen to music within, you know, the, I'd say, six hour radius of a show. And then afterwards, it's basically just talking to my bandmates and kind of giving us a positive feeling, like saying, like, this is going to be good. Let's have good energy. Let's, you know, try our best. Um, no matter the circumstances, you know, if there's little people in the crowd or a lot of people in the crowd, doesn't matter. We always have to perform the same. So putting ourselves into that mindset is kind of how we prepare for the show. Yeah. Where are you now on your musical path? What's happening with your band? Hmm. It's kind of hard to answer. Um, I would say at the start, I would say with a lot of um, musical products, um, the investment is to be made over the course of several years before it pays out or before you can make a living from it unless you're extremely lucky so i'd say we're still in the starting phase even though we've been doing what we do since three years now um and separately of course even earlier than that um so yeah somewhere in the middle of the start and then after six years i'd say that start period is kind of over and then you should move into the middle bit yeah Oh, what's happening with my band? Um, we're playing, we've been playing, or we've been fortunate enough to play a couple shows uh, this year uh, over the course of the summer, um, which was not possible prior because of the COVID situation. So we were just really grateful to be able to play some shows. How did the pandemic affect you and your music? Oh, I was just saying that. <laughs> um, so yeah, since there were no no shows happening or mostly every show that we were to attend was canceled in the summer of 2020 so we used that time and i think most musicians probably did the same we used that time and that intermission to just write as much music as we could um to work on our like individual projects and then on the band project and just to to build the discography a little bit so that when we finally are able to play shows we have some new songs to show to the fans all right Respect und Neugier Festival is about diversity, curiosity, and respecting those differences. How much do you identify with that? How do you interpret it in your music? Hmm. This is what you meant with the uh, questions getting more and more difficult. <laughs> um, curiosity, diversity. Hmm. How much do you identify with that? How do you interpret it in your music? I can't say that I've personally tackled the issue of curiosity very much, but um, I would say over the course of the last um, 14 months or so, simply because I think there's been a lot of news geopolitically from everywhere, and that also was in part due to us connecting so much on social media. I think you just, you know, certain things have always happened, but now maybe you hear about them more frequently. So it feels like every day there's like a new crisis or, you know, a new political uprising in some place, in some part of the world. Um, and I think that kind of left a little bit of an imprint on me personally which is why in the last year or so I've written more texts about political things or things regarding diversity and discrimination. Um, whereas before that time period, I was more introspective and I wrote more about my personal life um, from my perspective. And now it's kind of broadened my horizon a little bit. All right. Why did you become a musician? <laughs> Can you remember that kid now when you look in the mirror? Hmm. Well, I wasn't a kid. <laughs> um, I was actually, I think, I was nine, no, I was, yeah, no, I was 19. 
um, when I started making music, which is fairly late, I would say. Um, but for some reason, music didn't mean very much to me before, which is strange to think about now. Um, so if the question asks, can I remember that kid? Or rather, can I remember the young adult before music? I can't, barely, because music has taken up such a huge portion of my private life that I, can, I cannot imagine a time where it wasn't the case and where music wasn't the thing I was most passionate about. It almost feels like it, that was a separate life, which sounds very dramatic, but that's kind of how it is. Um, but yeah. I, I can't really remember that person when I look into the mirror now, but that's all right. I'm, I'm very okay with that. <laughs>